Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to part two of the Devotion Let's Play. Now, uh, right at the end of the last episode, uh, we put like the little icing topper thing on the cake and then like the girl blew it out and whatnot. Anyways, I'm literally just picking up right where we left off from that. So let's jump into it before uh, I get too unscared. All right. It's on the TV. All right, that always works. Contestants from around the globe, superstars, newcomers, a massive gathering of singing finesse. You can sing, I can sing, the stage is set for the final test. Welcome to the Rainbow Star Stage. Shit, this music's banging. Uh, yeah, okay, well, it's really dark without the lighter. Hey, can you stop looking at me? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. We're not playing this game. Sorry, no one's home. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Nothing's going on in the kit. I'm guessing we just have to go out that way. To be honest. Let me make sure there's nothing else to like, interact with or grab while we're here. Fuck, dude. The knocking sounds really... Really real, I guess. It's the best way I could think to describe it. Alright, I guess we're gonna answer. Knock once if you're not a demon. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, it's your regular old hallway. Man, this apartment building is—it's uh, a little run down. Is that kid singing happy birthday? Yo, kids singing is just like really unsettling in like creepy settings like this, you know? It's 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 weird how just like the context of the environment from kids singing. Okay. No balls in the apartment, demons. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit, the ball's going back. Oh, oh. What's this paper say? Uh, and so today they celebrate their child's birthday. As candles light the cozy room, the joy of family in peaceful celebration. My sweet, <clears throat> my sweet child, what gift would you prefer? Father will grant you anything. I am grateful, father, mother, but I do not wish for a gift. I just want our family to be mirthful and content. For the child, such an ordinary moment would be especially cherished. If you'd like to know why, we must talk about that strange illness. Uh oh, weird way to leave off a sentence, but, you know, you do you, boo-boo. I feel like this hallway is too long for anything good to happen. Fucking, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some serpentine maneuvers here. Serpentine. 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 Oh. Light screen, can I pick up the ball? I have no I'm PewDiePie. Guys, check it out. No legs. Alright, let's head into the Year of the Ox. I think I might be a Year of the Ox. Like my, uh, like my actual birth year. What year does it say? This one? Oh, 85. Okay, well, not 85. Let me look real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am an Ox. I was the Year of the Ox. Just... The one after. I was the year of the ox after this year of the ox. Did I got the key? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You found in the mailbox, it's labeled 1985. Okay. Uh, looks like we got some height going on. The living room's not the same. I heard some noises over there. Again, I said it in the first episode, guys. Make sure you're uh, listening with headphones in. It makes it a lot, uh, 
Because like, sometimes I'm like reacting to stuff that you might not actually be able to hear without wearing headphones. So uh, be sure to do that if at all possible. Uh, what does it say? Parents greetings. Oh, no, no, no. Go back. Uh, difficulty breathing. Sent to school clinic. Uh, emergency transportation to hospital. Further medical testing is advised as early as possible. After receiving this notice and seeking further medical attention, have the doctor fill out the reply form with the treatment provided. Return the reply slip to the school medical clinic so that we may continue to provide the student with medical care. Okay, so I guess my sheen just uh, got sent to like, the school nurse and like had to go to the hospital and shit. I say I guess, but that's exactly what that said. I know that's what happened. Is this window open? Oh, it's just stormy outside. See, that thing is, like, rattling. Can I open it or anything? Okay, I guess we're going into the scary part of the house. Wash hands before entering. Yeah, dude, I can do a, I can do a good hand wash. Uh, that's unlocked. Let's, is this one unlocked before we go in there? No, that's locked, too. All right. Back to the bathroom. Yeah, no handprints this time. Oh, you're washing the skin off your hands there, buddy. Yeah, I think you got it. I think you're clean. It's clean, bro. Something like... Okay. No big deal, just that molly I took earlier is kicking in. You see, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Toothpaste, toothbrushes. Alright. Is this door unlocked now? Still locked. Alright. Let's hit up my Sheen's room. Alright, I did wash my hands. Oh shit, oh, it's the doll? She's, oh, whoa, it's like a doctor's office in here, man? Alright, she's upset, she's having a bad time. Uh, alright, uh, be prepared for her eyes to start freaking out. Not, didn't see that coming. Oh wow, look at that, what do you know? Ouch, dude. They like, crucified her to this gurney. With those needles. I'd cry too. She's taking it way better than I would. She's like, lightly like, sobbing. I'd be like, full. Just, oh my god! What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, my sheen. Oh look, you're happy. You're doing fine. Uh, the record number, she's a female. 10 years old. A thoracic specialist. That's in chest uh, stuff. For oh yeah, it is. Chest tightness. Mm, excuse me. Difficulty breathing. And the medical order, uh, the patient's x-ray and blood work analysis. Uh, came back as normal and no physical ailments observed. Recommend tearing the paper in half. And some cut x-ray film. I guess I'm taking that too. Le oh, okay. The whole place is a doctor's office. Then. Can we get a lighter? Up in here? Can I leave? Uh, candles illuminate the bed and the herbal tea remedy. Uh, father, when will we go down into the big city? Uh, we cannot do so under these troubling circumstances. Son, when your illness is past, mother and I will take you anywhere you'd like. Father, the needles are painful. The tr this treatment is unbearable. The husband pulls the acupuncture needles out of his child. No more pain. No more pain. Father won't have you suffer any longer. The, tire, the child, tired from crying, drifts into sleep. How is this going to work? It's been such a long time. My heart aches. Set your mind at ease. I have another way. Alright. There's something about, this, about a son. I don't know if that had to do with us or not. Uh. Oh, okay. I, I, under, I understand. Gonna need to put those down as well. That looks like the middle piece and such. That's where it needs to go. 
Okay. I will. I'm moving it around. <laughs> the the projector effect isn't exactly what I would call. Oh wait, probably needs to go on little machine. Um, I don't know. Does that mean like swag lord or daddy or something in Taiwanese? Oh shit. Fucking ring ring city morgue. Hello. Oh, Mr. Du. This is Mentor Hugh. I've heard about your situation. Do not worry. Come upstairs and see me first. Alright. Uh it's looking like I can leave. I am just gonna like check the full room out before uh I can't really go further than this. Is there anything in that? The bedroom and stuff's probably locked. I'll just check it out real quick. Oh, that's blocked too. Looks like we're going out. Oh, that's. It's not. Lights aren't supposed to look like that. Okay. Guess we're just going to the end. The door's kind of cracked. I can't really see in there very much. What is that? Oh shit! It's a it's a kiddo. You're gonna go deaf listening to that blaring radio that loud. Oh, there's another one. He's in timeout. Hey kid, do you know the nearest shop to get a Klondike bar? Okay, fucking rude. Uh, I don't like the way these papers are flailing around in here. The Year of the Rabbit. Oh shit. Oh no no. The lighter isn't needed here. Yeah, my ass the lighter isn't needed here. Uh What's on What's on the tube, Pop? Yeah, is this really the time to be watching TV? Hey, it's the Rainbow Star Stage again. Rainbow Star Stage, the Cradle of Superstars. It's finally time for our Youth Category Challengers performance. Let's give a warm welcome to uh, Mai Sheen with her rendition of Lady of the Pier. Take it away. Okay, so that's why this has been on the TV. Mai Sheen is actually on the show. Yo. Come on, let's hear them pipes, girl. Oh, come on, I wanted to hear her sing. I can move around again. Oh, do I gotta, do I gotta bang on the TV some more? Fucking bang, bang. What is it? I guess I'll play. It is October 7th, 1987. Uh, I'm guessing this is where we go. It's the only other thing that's lit up. Oh, yo, there's a... It's like a, like a, like a Buddha-looking thing. I don't know what to call these. Like a, like a, like a little deity statue. Oh shit. I'm moving so slow. The place is filling up. Help me! Okay, it's like swim up. There you go. What's going on? Oh fuck. 
fuck, man. Where's my sh- Bro, you can't just be chilling on the roof like that. Or the ceiling. That's not a ceiling. That's not a roof. That's a ceiling. Big difference. Roofs. Outside. Ceiling. Inside. Shit, it's on the ceiling. Okay. Jumping out the tub. Yo, my Sheen. Maybe we saw her for the first time. Like, kinda. In the, in the thing. Other than on the TV. 1980. What's this? I guess, uh... These are missing. Looks like we're gonna, probably gonna have to collect those from somewhere. Okay. Oh, whoa. It's a bloody bathtub. It looks like only this door is open. Let's check it out, then. What's it say? Collect the fragments of the past, traverse into a flawless present. Okay, so that's probably what I was talking about with the... Can I not come in here? What's this? Something used to fit here, but I can't remember what. All right. Are there any of the other doors? Oh, I can't. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing that's what has to happen. I have to, like, collect... I have to fill this board up with all those papers, and then I can go in there, I would assume. Let's see what's in here. It's doing a load job this time. Oh, well. Uh, merciful Sigu Guanyin. Comfort all beings, ease all suffering. Okay, that's that statue of that Guanyin. Uh, that guy was in the, uh, like, kind of mentioned him in the, I, I think I mentioned it in the first episode that I watched the trailer and stuff, and it mentioned him in the trailer. Our young challenger has quite a beautiful force. She's clearly put a great deal of something into it. There are a few difficult parts in Lady of the Pier, but she made no mistakes at all. It was surely a challenging piece. I hope you can continue to flourish here. Uh, blurred out piano. I can't take it. Can I take a single lens camera? Hey. What's this? The tale of Sigu Guanyin. The farmers turned the farmer turned the snake's body into a medic medicinal wine, as directed by the serpent. As soon as he drank the medicine, the novice monk recovered completely. At this time, Sigu Guanyin descended upon the countryside. Sigu Guanyin had sensed the spirit serpent's virtuous deed. Though it was a mere beast, Sigu Guanyin was impressed by the serpent's ultimate sacrifice, and so bestowed upon the serpent the title of guardian. Henceforth, whenever Sigu Guanyin helped the denizens of the world, uh, the striped spirit serpent always followed close behind. Uh, the story is recorded in the Sigu Legends chapter of Sigu Sutra. Uh, many believers have professed to seeing a figure of a snake accompanying all appearances by Sigu Guanyin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Our young challenger is quite a beautiful voice. She's clear. Okay, it's just repeating that. Uh, dried up fish tank. I, I still, I've always checked the radio. Oh, whoa. What's this? Don't tell us our daughter's in the jar. Hey. Okay. Let's check. Uh, oh, always look left before you go right. Check my Sheen's room. What's this? My dream. My dream is to become a child star because my mom is a superstar. When she sings, I sing along and daddy and mommy say I sing very well. I hope I can sing to everyone on TV one day. So I go to singing classes every week. I often participate in singing competitions. My father says as long as I work hard, everyone will be able to hear me sing. I also want to go out and play with my parents. They are always so busy every day. When I grow up, I will take them out for fun all the time. 
That's nice. Oh. What's up? What's happening? I'm doing I'm doing my sheen's homework. And clacking these beads. Look, I dug out my old key pow dress. Should be good to wear after I give it a wash, right? Director Oh, she's going so fast. What is the meaning of this? Didn't I tell you already? Whoa, what's fucking going on? Falling behind on rent, water, and electricity. What about the housework? Who's going to look after our child? How can you be so selfish? That's not true. Nothing will change here. I'll still take care of family. Oh, press A to calm myself. Alright, so they're fighting about, like, money problems and... Oh, wait, we're my Sheen, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're my Sheen, like... Our parents are fighting in the background. It's a man's job, you can stay out of it. What? What man's job? What kind of man are you, anyway? <laughs> Hold up in your room, still haven't found any work? You rate so much, but have nothing to show for it. Please wake up and take a good, hard look at reality. The scripts you've been writing aren't what people want enough. Anymore. Enough! I'm dropping this nonsense. I don't want to hear it. The text goes by so fast, it's hard to like keep up while reading out loud sometimes. If we could just, if you could just learn to control your spending. I can't control my spending. Why don't you look at yourself? Why did you buy such an expensive record player for, huh? Who's going to see it? Buying a bunch of useless watches and teapots, not to mention that absurd fish that I can't finish the sentence of? And what about all these offerings to this Guan Yin? Every month you throw your money at her. Might as well reach into our savings and give it away. Oh, did he just hit her? She, pa she like gets stressed and pass out. Shit. That was, that was hardcore. It's a giraffe, a kitty cat, butterflies. Classic kid stuff. Locked this time around. What's in here? Oh. This is kind of cool. Shining Star Kiki. Connect the dots. Kiki has her crown, shoes, and red dress. She's ready to shine on the stage. Kiki, that's what... You guys might not have noticed, but if you go back, the pencil sharpener that was on the desk during that last little cutscene said Kiki on it. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but... A uh, popular vinyl record player from back in the day. It's a pity I lost the record. Okay, so I have to find the record for that. Where are we looking next? Oh, uh, whoa. That dress looks all slashed up. Is that the one she was talking about? The tattered key power dress. Uh, you still you still doing good, my Sheen? In the barrel? Okay. Uh, is there anything I can do? Oh, I guess I can go back. Maybe I have to like find that record from another part of the uh. Oh, I gotta yawn. Oh, shit. No, 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 I don't want to go over there. Do I have to go over there? Hey, look, one of the things is up. Okay. So yeah, I just have to go into the other places, and they probably each have parts for each of the other rooms inside them, so it's kind of like a... 
a multi-room puzzle thing than to be able to go into that one. So guys, I am going to go ahead and end this episode uh, here. In the next episode, we will be diving into these other rooms and can hopefully get that one unlocked in the next episode. Thank you guys uh, for all of the support you guys left on episode one. It was really cool to see like uh, a bunch of people liked it. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy part two. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it because those help out a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't or uh, turn notifications on if you are already subscribed for the next episodes. And I will catch you there. See you guys. Peace.